Hey there, what's up, guys? My name is Crazy Pie, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite guns, the R201. Now, the R201 is probably one of my favorite guns in Titanfall 2, as really it has gotten me into the game because when I first started playing Titanfall 2, when the beta first came out, I I didn't really know which weapon was good, which weapon I should use, until I picked up the R201, and this thing just had extremely good accuracy. The R201, if you don't know, is probably one of the best guns for accuracy. That's fully automatic. Uh, that I know, I know, I said that last time for a gun uh, for my top five weapons and someone said oh the r201 is not the most accurate because uh what's the g2 then yep obviously the g2 is more accurate because well it's semi-auto this is fully auto okay if you didn't know that this is fully auto obviously they're different but this gun is extremely accurate. It's such a good assault rifle. It has very high damage, as you can tell from the gameplay in the back. I'll let it roll through the whole, well, not really not the whole thing, but I'll let, I'll let it roll most of it. I went on a really good kill streak in the very beginning. I think I went like 11 and one. I'll let you guys see. It was very good though. So this gun is very good in close situations as well as in long range situations. It's honestly, it's, it's a very versatile gun. You can basically use it in any situation. It has extremely, extremely very good iron sights. Basically, it's just you aim it down. It's kind of like a hollow graphic site in a, in a way it's like you can't see it but once you aim it down it shows two little lines it's basically the horizontal hip fire sight but in the actual sight itself so basically it's just two little triangles put to the side and then a little upper triangle in the middle it's very good it's very easy to use it's probably one of my favorite iron sights within the whole game you definitely won't be missing shots with it especially because this gun is extremely accurate I, I really do like the hip fire sights it's Hip fire sights are basically the ones where it's the three lines in the shape of sort of like a triangle leading out and then it has a dot in the center and as you all know from the glitch DLC update that came out, the dot in the center for all of the assault rifles and SMGs now stays there forever so you can use it extremely accurate and you really won't miss a shot if you're using this to hip fire so definitely that's very awesome. Hip firing is definitely an option, as well as aiming down your sight is definitely an option as it has very, very good sights. As well as, don't get me wrong, if you do like the HCOG or the HCOG Ranger sight or the threat scope, you can definitely throw that on this gun. With no attachments on, this thing has around 24 bullets, I, I believe. I believe it's 24 bullets. And then with extended ammo on, it has around 30. So... I would highly recommend running extended ammo as those extra six bullets will definitely help you out in getting another kill and um, two, maybe even two, depending on if you have an amped, who knows. The damage is extremely good on this weapon. It comes in on the scale in the game. It has around 55%. Basically, what that means is it, you can easily kill people with around three to four bullets at medium to long, or medium to short range, sh short to medium range, I should say. And then at longer range, it will take a little bit more, but definitely not that much, honestly. Honestly, this thing will absolutely melt. You won't really have to worry about missing shots because the accuracy comes in at a 90. Basically, it, it has a very low recoil. I can tell you that right now. This gun has extremely good recoil. It's it's so good. And surprisingly, with its amazing recoil, it has a pretty fast fire rate coming in at around 80%, which is actually really fast. It shoots really fast, which is really good for the recoil because you can pop off shots into enemies extremely easily, which means you can definitely get the kill very, very fast. This gun has an extremely fast time to kill, and if amped, it'll be even faster and even better to use. As you can see in this gameplay, when I do amp it, it becomes extremely strong and a very fun gun to use. The in-game statistics show around a 60 for the range. I, I don't look at the statistics that much, guys. I wouldn't really look at that too much. The range is really good on this gun. It doesn't look that high, but honestly, if you're using it like how I use it or how most people use it, which is at medium, short to medium range engagement, sometimes that odd long range engagement can have you burst firing, but this thing will absolutely demolish at short to medium range as you don't have to burst fire at all. You can just hold down the trigger because it has extremely good recoil. Like I said, honestly, I've said that so much because the recoil on this weapon is just so good that's its main selling point like it's so good you'll always get the kill it has such good fire rate damage is awesome amping it is awesome and it's just such a good gun the attachments that i would recommend using is definitely got to be extended ammo as you will get 30 bullets in your magazine as well as gun ready as for most of the time like i said you want to try and use this at short to medium range engagements if you're at really cqb close course combat ranges you don't have to aim which is why you don't need this perk but definitely since it is an assault rifle and it does have the extra range than an SMG might, then definitely you want to try and aim down sights a little bit easier as you will get the kill a lot faster and you will lose a lot less bullets. So definitely I would recommend aiming this gun as it does have extremely good aiming sights and they will not let you down. But yeah, honestly guys, tell me what you guys think of this gun down below. It's honestly an extremely good gun. I would highly recommend giving it a go. It's the first S uh, 
a scythe you unlock, so you don't really need to level up or anything. You get it at technically level zero. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Within two days, I should say. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.